love beer and magic? Want to have a few and still make those big brain plays? Now you can. Athletic Brewing offers high-quality, non-alcoholic craft beers. From IPAs to stouts, they've got you covered. Head over to athleticbrewing.com and use code BTC25 for 25% off your first order. Hello and welcome to Brew Tap Cast. I am Tap here for a new video. We will be doing set reviews for sets for Magic the Gathering as they come out from now on. So our first set review is this one, Zendikar Rising. We will be doing both limited and constructed, all in one, all in one place, all in one video. This is a Brew Tap Cast special type of set review. It's a little bit different. We are still doing card by card set reviews, but it'll be a little bit different than your traditional one. We're going to be very concise, very quick. We're going to move through it and get it done and assign a final set grade for both limited and constructed. So with all that said, uh, the basic breakdown is we will be discussing mechanics first, new and old. Then we're moving on to the cards and then wrapping it up with a final set grade. So with all that said, let's start with the mechanics. All right, here we are for our mechanics discussion. We'll start with our new mechanics. The first new one is modal double-faced cards. These are cards that as you play them, you choose to play them as a certain side face up, and that's the card that you will be able to use while the game goes on. If you're able to remove them from play or get them back into your hand, you can replay them at the other side if you choose to. In this particular set, they are all lands. There's the permanent on one side, and then some other land or spell on the other side. These will be very exciting in both limited and constructed, as you can probably cut lands and use these. They also help in flood and screw, because if you draw them early, you can play them as lands if you need them. If you draw them late, it's not just top decking a land. So definitely looking forward to playing these in both formats and looking for their big impact there. Our next mechanic is party. This is a creature-based mechanic. It is based on classes. Those are or types, I should say. Classes for Dungeons and Dragons. These are going to be types here. Cleric, Rogue, Wizard, and Warrior are our types. If you have zero of those on the board, you have zero party. If you have all four or some in between, you have a full party or somewhere in between. These will allow certain spells to have static effects on them for the number of party members or as a resolution or part of that resolution will uh, count the number in your party when it resolves. I think these will be a pretty fun mechanic. Looking forward to seeing how much power they have in Limited. I don't really know if they'll really get that far in Constructed. Those are maybe going to be more types of decks that roll with looking at a single tribe, single party type, not necessarily getting maximized on those party types. All right, returning mechanics, Landfall. Back again, was in both previous Zendikar blocks. It's here now again. This is a, you have some effect that is generated when a land enters the battlefield on your side. So it can be instant speed if you can somehow trigger that, or it's just during your turn as you play a land. This was very powerful, splashy, exciting, and fun back in those blocks. I'm sure we'll see nothing different here for both limited and constructed. Our second returning mechanic is Kicker. This is a mechanic that on certain cards will allow you to play pay an additional cost when casting a spell that can get you an additional effect. Uh, whether that cost be paying mana, colored or not colored, or sacrificing a creature or some other type of cost. Uh, these are great cards for both constructed and limited as they allow you to have an early card that you can play for a, a, a good effect early and then an even better effect uh, for a little bit later in the game for a higher cost. So look forward to seeing both these in limited and constructed. I think they will make a big splash in both of those. All right, we've gone through our mechanics. Let's get into the cards. All right, here we are for the cards themselves. Now, before we get into the cards, let's talk about the plane itself. We should not be seeing any Eldrazi anymore. They've been banished, destroyed, pulled to other planes, you know, captured in the moon, what have you. So we should not see any living Eldrazi on the plane or in the cards or anything like that. That said, you'll see the after effects of those. So you can see the damage they've caused and the infection of the Eldrazi causing the Royal, which is Zendikar's sort of response to the Eldrazi, uh, is definitely in full effect and causing a lot of tumultuousness in the world. So don't expect to see any flying spaghetti monsters or weird geometric creatures as they are kind of gone now. All right, so our first card, Allied Assault. For two and a white instant speed, you get to buff two creatures 
uh, giving them plus X plus X where X is your party count. So this could be pretty exciting if you can maximize this. Three mana for, say, giving plus four plus four to two creatures is pretty exciting. Will item win pretty much every combat you get into with those. Uh, so talking about for limited, uh, most likely your common average, you know, triggered cost on or triggered pump on this is going to be plus one plus one plus two plus two uh maybe if you're lucky and get plus three plus three and if you're like godly you can get plus four plus four regularly um i think more often than not this is probably not going to be a playable card unless you're really maximizing party if you can reliably get this as a plus two plus two or plus three plus three i think it's probably going to play as a c plus b minus if you can regularly get it as a plus three plus three and sometimes plus four plus four it's definitely a b to b plus uh I think that if you're going to be casting it for zero, which you just wouldn't, or plus one, plus one is your most common, it's probably going to be like a D minus and probably not playable. For Constructed, I don't really see this being a card that we're going to be playing. We're not really focused on necessarily maximizing party count. We're more maybe closer to going to, you know, a single tribe of those parties or maybe to uh, and sort of getting off those single tribe powers. So this isn't really going to work out. Uh, it doesn't look like a very powerful card, and I don't think it's really worth three mana to give anything plus, or any two things plus two, or plus one, plus one. So it's probably going to be a D minus. Is It's probably the highest at construction, unless there's some party deck out there that just isn't really in the meta yet. Um, all right, so overall, it's an okay card. It can be powerful in, in limited, and maybe be powerful in constructed if you can somehow maximize your party. Um, all right, so now that we did that, we got to lay the land, and I think we're ready to wrap this guy up. So going through the card list uh, at Wizards, they did not print Evolving Wilds. Um, I checked multiple times during spoiler season. Very excited, waiting, waiting, waiting for Evolving Wilds to be spoiled. It was not. So knowing that, I think we can make our grade for both Limited and Constructed. And we're going to do that right now. So Constructed, F. Limited, F. Not only did they not include Evolving Wilds, they also didn't even include one of the worst versions like Fable Passage, Myriad Landscape, or Terramorphic Expanse, or something like that. So I think it's pretty easy that we're going to stand behind our grade here at Brutap Cast as F for both Limited and Constructed. So that's our set review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you can take away some kernels of knowledge and apply them to uh, how you look at this set for Limited and Constructed and uh, go from there. So... Thank you very much for your time. We hope to see you next time in January for the full set review of Kaldheim. And uh, we can't wait to see you then. So thank you very much and cheers.